Hi folks, this is Tom Bryant with Top Notch Hearing, and in today's video, I want to go over the four steps to your best possible hearing. Now, step number one is we want you to go have your hearing tested. You, you want to go to a, a local provider who's going to, we want, we want them to look inside your ear canal, make sure that everything looks good and healthy, make sure you don't have too much wax in your ear canal. We want to get a good, accurate hearing test so that we're, we want to rule out that there's not any kind of medical condition that's causing your hearing loss. But now understand, if you do have a hearing loss, there's a greater than 90% chance that hearing aids are going to be the only treatment option available to you. So step number two is you want to get us a copy of the test results. Now you can email those to us, you can fax them to us. Um, some people have actually been able to get their local provider to email the test results to them and then they could just forward the test results to us which is, is might be the easiest option. But uh, once we have those test results, then we can more accurately program the hearing aids to your specific loss, but we're also, we can more accurately give you uh, guidance on, on what hearing aids you might want to choose. Now, step three is choosing your hearing aid. Now, there's a couple of things that, um, you know, a lot, people have all different kinds of questions when it comes to what kind of hearing aid should I get. Uh, a couple of things that we can tell you just to generally is that when it comes to choosing the color, you want to get the hearing aid that most closely matches your hair color. Don't try to match the skin color because that's very difficult to accomplish. And if we get close, the closer we are to your hair color, the more, um, the more easily disguised the hearing aids are. And so, so choose your hair color or the hearing aid that's most closest to your hair color. The other thing is, is when it comes to the technology levels. Now I've gone over this in some other videos, but basically when, whenever a hearing aid company comes out with a new line of hearing aids, they always have their good, better, and best technology levels. Some of them will have like an entry level uh, technology level, but generally good, better, and best and they all are great hearing aids, but just understand is that what you're, when you're going up in technology levels, you're getting um, a better performance in noisy environments. And so the good, tech, the good level of technology, it's not going to have as many channels as the better or the best. It's not gonna have as good of a directional microphones. Um, what the channels are is that you know, if you think of an old equalize, stereo equalizers and it would have all those little bands that you could be very, make very minute, precise adjustments to the, 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 the sound of the, the stereo, it's kind of the same idea with the hearing aids, but it, we're, we're doing more than just adjusting the volume. In each channel, we're adjusting the volume, we're adjusting the noise reduction, we're adjusting the speech enhancement, we're adjusting the compression uh, ratios. And so inside each channel, the more channels you have, the more precise and the better the sound quality of the hearing aid, particularly in noisy environments. So that's what you're getting more channels as you go up in technology level. The directional microphones, the good level of technology, it's again, it's great, but it's generally just kind of differentiates between quiet environments and noisy environments. And so when you go into those noisy environments, the rear microphones, they kind of attenuate, the forward microphone stays on. So what's happening is it's kind of generally just everything in front of you is amplified. As you go up in technology levels, the top tier technology level, what ends up happening is the four microphones are working together to scan the environment. And when they detect speech, they triangulate on the speech and zoom in on it and kind of make that area where the speech is present louder than everything else. And so you're getting better uh, directional microphone performance, you're also getting more, a better environmental classification. Again, this, this good technology, it's, it kind of breaks it down to quiet environment or noisy environment, again, which is good, but it's not as precise. When you get into the better levels of technology, it's identifying what that background noise is, you know, is it a loud crowd of people? Is it a small group of people? Is there music playing? Is it machine noise? you know, all different kinds of things. And so the, the more precise it is in at the more precise it is at identifying the background noise, the the more filters and the more appropriate filters it's applying to give you your best hearing. So that's uh the third step. The fourth step is once you've chosen your hearing aids, 
you just sit back and wait. In about a week to 10 days, your hearing aids are going to arrive programmed to your specific hearing loss. We're going to send you some information in the meantime, just telling you what to expect and preparing you for, for uh, receiving your hearing aids. But when you get them, it's just pull them out of the box, turn them on and put them in your ear and get ready to hear better than you have in years. So, folks, I hope this information helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help you every step of the way. Thank you.